When sunglasses just aren't enough, you should pick up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda out here in the sun, turning my eyes. These pretzels are making me thirsty. And this is something that I ordered because it was just kind of interesting looking. And I kind of thought it was a little bit of a goof, but man, out here in the sun, I might see a reason for it. So unboxing this sucker. And this is a pair of sunglasses like you have never seen. Maybe, unless you are on the Cobra side of G.I. Joe. And this thing is more like a face shield than a pair of sunglasses, but you can see it has kind of that Revo rainbow color look to it. You know, it's kind of interesting here. It's just like plastic. I kind of expected this to be maybe more like a ski mask lens, but it's kind of like a heavier plastic. I mean, not heavy in that sense. It's just like a thicker plastic. And you can see how we have a little bit of these old school arms that go around the side and there's nothing really elegant or high quality about it. It's just to do the job, I think. In fact, they seem a little bit more utilitarian or industrial than I was expecting too. It actually does come with a little cloth. You might be able to see it in there to clean these off. So a little microfiber cloth. So let's go ahead and pull this out and look at it in all its glory. So this thing is pretty big and has the arms that go on the side, but it also has the little nose bridge that's hanging in there so that it should actually hang and fit your face like glasses. You can see that is kind of on the front. It's kind of snapped on to the top piece there. So it's interesting looking. And you can see how tight these arms are. I'm kind of worried that it's not gonna go around my ginormous head, but we're gonna make it work. And if this thing snaps into many pieces, that'll just be interesting. So if I go ahead and put it on like this, <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of laughing at this thing because it looks kind of ridiculous, but I can see some benefits. I don't know, if you're going into a place with a lot of debris, you know, a lot of stuff that's flying around, dust, you know, this might, prevent you from breathing it in. Uh, it is definitely blocking out some of the sun, so it's working like sunglasses, although I would say it probably needs to be darker. I'm also guessing it is blocking my voice, so you probably can't hear me that well. So I'll try to talk up here. It actually fits like glasses. You can see it sitting on the bridge of my nose there, and because the arms are tight, I think that's actually a good thing because it's kind of holding this sucker on. Now, if I were wearing a hat, this thing might actually work really well at protecting my whole face from getting a lot of extra UV. You know, sometimes you wear sunglasses and you get that farmer's tan around the sunglasses. This will prevent it because your whole face is getting shielded. You know, it actually does feel a little bit cooler, like the sun isn't penetrating into my skin like it would directly. So that's kind of interesting. The drawbacks to this is one, it looks kind of ridiculous. Two, I am noticing that my breath is getting trapped in here. Now, it's not fogging it up. It's a pretty warm, dry day, so it's not really an issue. I can see this being a problem maybe if you are really exhaling, working hard, and putting a lot of your moisture, your breath, onto the inside of the plastic here. Now, interestingly, I'm also thinking of other use cases for this. I'm thinking, like, if I were to put on a stocking cap and go out and snow blow, there's a lot of times when the snow is kind of whipping around in the wind and this might prevent it from actually just kind of stinging my face something like this it's like a face shield and it fits pretty well so it would also help kind of be easier on the eyes because a lot of that sunlight reflects off the snow so i don't know while it does make me look like a villain in gi joe i could see this being useful in some cases Probably not a lot of cases. And if your pride is easily bruised, then these are not something that you want to wear. But I don't know. For a goof, I could see this being useful. But for a goof purchase, I could see this being useful in some cases. Hey, if you want to pick this up because you want to protect your whole face, give your whole face the experience of wearing glasses, I'll put a link to this in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can risk more and explore so much deeper.